Hey guys, I'm Siobhan, a fourth year medical resident specializing in rheumatology. Today we're talking about knuckle cracking. I spend a lot of time examining people's joints and I find that patients often apologize for cracking their knuckles and say things like they know they shouldn't do it. So I decided to read every scientific paper I could find on the subject and today I'm going to be sharing some exciting new discoveries with you. What causes the sound? Is it really nitrogen bubbles popping? And can it cause arthritis? Your joints are made up of bones, cartilage, and synovial fluid, which helps lubricate the joint and allows it to move smoothly. Scientists have been debating what causes the knuckle cracking sound for over 70 years. And in the 1970s, one theory became really popular. Scientists proposed that the sound came from air bubbles popping in synovial fluid in a process called cavitation, which is when a liquid turns into a gas under negative pressure. Okay, here I've got a regular syringe with water in it. I'm blocking the tip so no air can come in or out. And as I pull back on the plunger, I'm creating negative pressure. And as you can see, an air bubble forms. Some of the fluid has turned into water vapor. Then when I let go, it's a surprisingly loud sound. This is what scientists in the 1970s thought was happening inside your joint when you crack it. But they couldn't really see inside the joint well to confirm that. Fast forward in time to 2015, and Canadian researchers at the University of Alberta came up with a new theory. To allow them to visualize what's going on inside the joint, they rigged up a device to be able to pull someone's finger while they're inside an MRI machine. Here's the real footage from the experiment. As the two bones are pulled apart, you can suddenly see an air bubble, a black circle that forms. And as long as you're pulling on the finger, that bubble stays there long after the cracking sound. Scientists concluded that the sound must be coming from an air bubble forming rapidly rather than collapsing as it was previously believed. So here's how that would actually work. As you're pulling two bones apart, again, you're causing negative pressure, but synovial fluid is really thick and it would resist being pulled apart. But if you pull hard enough, then all of a sudden the fluid would separate, turning into a bubble and causing that cracking sound as it pulls apart. So in this theory, the cracking sound happens when a bubble forms, but in the old theory of cavitation, it was when a vapor bubble collapsed. But not all scientists were convinced, and some commented on the publication with their concerns. One scientist explained that the MRI machine takes pictures too slowly to actually capture this event. The MRI machine that was used takes a picture every 310 milliseconds. The duration of these events could be as little as 5 milliseconds, meaning that cracking from either formation or collapse cannot be distinguished using these MRI images. It took another three years before new evidence came to light. In 2018, a Harvard chemical engineer published a mathematical model of knuckle cracking. They studied the acoustic signature of the cracking sound. The results supported the 1970s theory of cavitation. In other words, the bubble popping. But remember the MRI image? We could still see the bubble after the cracking sound had happened. So how is that possible? Get this, the mathematical model also predicts that only part of the bubble has to collapse to be able to make the cracking sound. Fascinating, isn't it? So I know it sounds like all the studies are contradicting each other, but that's often what happens as we're trying to solve the puzzle and move science forward. So here's what we can take away from all of this research. When you pull on your finger, you're causing negative pressure, and that causes a bubble to form at around the same time that you hear a cracking sound then perhaps the bubble rapidly forms and immediately partially collapses like the mathematical model predicted. The MRI machine takes about three pictures per second, which sounds fast, but it's not fast enough to tell if the cracking sound happened right as the bubble formed or milliseconds afterwards. But I've got to say, I'm really shocked that we don't have a definitive answer in 2021, especially since 25 to 50% of the population actually cracks their knuckles. So at this point, you're probably thinking, Siobhan, that's really cool, but 
is it bad for me? And the short answer is no. It doesn't seem to cause any damage or arthritis in the joints that are cracked. A California doctor actually did an experiment on himself. He cracked his left knuckles twice a day for 50 years and never cracked his right hand. Then he took x-rays of both hands and saw that he didn't have any arthritis in either hand. But that was just one person. Larger studies have also been done looking at knuckle crackers compared to people who never cracked their knuckles. And again, the knuckle crackers didn't have more arthritis. Although in one study from 1990, they found that knuckle crackers had a reduced grip strength and increased swelling in their knuckles. Joints can make a lot of other sounds like clicking, clacking, clunking, snapping. And for the most part, if it's not causing you any pain, it's probably not harmful. It's likely tendons and muscles that are tight that are rubbing against the bone. So personally, I think of it like your body reminding you to stretch more. But if you're getting swelling, pain, stiffness, difficulty moving your joints, then you need to see your doctor because this could be the signs of arthritis, tendinitis, an infection, or even a fracture. So now you actually can picture what's happening inside your joint when you crack it. And it doesn't seem to cause arthritis or damage to the joint, so crack away. And if you've got any other questions about your body or medicine, be sure to leave it in the comments below because I'd love to get to those questions. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and that way I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now. Honestly, I'm terrible at cracking my knuckles. <laughs>